Hi guys, how are you? Today we are going to learn little new thing. Might be many of you does, would have not know about Java Lin. So let us take a little small intro on what is Java Lin. So go to open your favorite browser and type Java Lin. Right guys, so um, it will land here. A simple web framework for Java and Kotlin. Simple web framework for Java and Kotlin. Guys, we, we know uh, that we have Spring Boot and Vortex, Web, all this stuff. The similar lines, Java Lin, Java Lin also is a web framework using which we can create web services. It has a lot of support and it is very lightweight. So let us see uh, some of the docs. So how to, the documentation very beautiful guys. So um, we have everything. So just a one dependency we have to add. We have to create a Maven or Gradle project and add one dependency, then you are ready to go. So Java Lin is a library. So using which you can do this. So, so this is the Java uh, program to, this is a web service. This web service is going to print hello world. How simple it is, right? It is very lightweight and it is having a beautiful uh, documentation. So you can write, there are so many handlers, like if you, if you want to write a get method, post method, put method, patch, delete, after, before, all these things are possible and the paths are there and then handle implementations are there if you go through this right it is very very easy guys so it supports the json object especially uh, when you have a small uh, scale application if you don't want uh, anything uh, fancy and um, so much complicated ja i suggest javelin is the best web framework so we have we can create web services in a short of like short period of time it is very fast so you see there are a lot of support in uh, uh, the uh, the documentation is very beautiful it's up to the mark and point to point everybody can understand easily so if you go through it right everybody can understand easily and each and every uh, they have uh, every topic with a uh, program explained so you can uh, so download is simple guys you don't need to download anything it's just a uh, Maven dependency or a Gradle dependency or SBT. There are so many uh, dependencies, SBT, Grape. There are so many builder, IV. They, they are supporting everything. So if the market leaders are Maven and Gradle, right? So you can use these two. So um, then they have uh, documentation. They have tutorials also, guys. They have um, good tutorials and you can go through it. It is very simple to learn. And then what is this um, Java Lin about? So you just go to um, type Java Lin and then you will have an about page. Just click on that guys, you will know. Java Lin started as a fork of the Java and Kotlin web framework Spark, but quickly turned into a ground up rewrite influenced by CoreJS. Both of these frameworks, web frameworks are inspired by the modern micro web, micro web framework grandfather, Sinatra. So um, this is a very lightweight, um, lightweight REST API library, guys. Javelin, I can say Javelin is a lightweight um, web framework. So where in which you can uh, create your web services. And it will have a embedded Jetty server. So this is the embedded Jetty server. It will automatically it'll come. And Lafkarj uh, facade also is there, SLF4J. Uh, Javalin has many plugins like JSON mapping, template rendering, open API support, especially Spagger, all those things. They are all using uh, plugins, we can do it, guys. So if you wanted to exclude uh, Jetty also, you can exclude and uh, um, run your uh, Javalin on a different uh, servlet container. So maybe with Tomcat or anything else. So you can see some similarities between uh, Spring Boot and um, Java Lin. So 
in future videos we will be making more on this what is the difference between spring boot and javelin all those stuff and to start with i have written a small maven project so inside my maven project pom.xml as they suggested i just kept the javelin version dependency and done the hello world see this guys that's it we just right click uh, to make sure that for the first time you might see these errors the slf4j is not there if you don't want uh, you include the slf4j uh, also here so the good thing is in the error only they are suggesting okay you put this uh, pom.xml dependency that is the beauty so they handled it very nicely they are like up to the mark in the especially in the documentation maybe if you spend three four hours you you can completely learn uh, javelin guys uh, that is what i can say um, now um, as we are seeing so i have just copied if you go to the uh, downloads or you click on the javelin if you see the first thing is this is the uh, program it's just having a main method javelin app equals to javelin dot create and start on 7000 port and here it is listening on uh, slash so I have just changed it to uh, listen and hello. Let us go to a favorite browser and type http colon slash slash 7000 slash hello. See, it is printing me hello. That's all guys. I hope this will help you uh, when you are doing a very, very lightweight um, web services. We can quickly do the web services, all the stuff. Stay tuned this, um, I will make more videos on Javelin. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel guys. Thank you.